Hello guys, welcome to Rust. My name is Kaiser, and this will be the first episode of my Let's Play. Uh, this game's been out for a while, it's still in alpha. Basically, you're going to have to just go into your play game and uh, choose a server. I tend to stay away from the official servers, as, you know, they get pretty scary. So you're going to refresh, and you're going to try to find a server that uh, has a lot of people in it, but not too many. So whichever one pops up with low ping. I'm going to choose this one here. I don't really care. So you're going to get into this game. You're going to spawn completely naked. And basically it's about survival. You get in here. You're going to, first thing you want to do is basically see what time of the day it is. So uh, I can't tell. Is that... That is rising the sun is rising so it's, we, should be, we have a bit of time uh, once you get to play this game we'll start to know the areas a bit better you want to find some of these stones over here and uh, what you're going to do is hold down your mouse until you click on it and uh, it pops up right there it shows what you're getting from it you want to be wary while you do this people will be running around looking for you and I, I wish I could show you I'm I'm currently free boiling right now. My penis is dangling around. And uh, it gets pretty interesting when you start to get a bunch of people to play. So if you press tab, it opens up your inventory. So you have inventory with one, two, three, four, five. You have 30 slots here for your inventory, plus the six down the bottom. And you can actually make your armor. So you can get cloth, leather, and uh, even radiation suits and Kevlar. But on your right hand side you have the list of craftable items. So these are all the basics for survival and you can make campfires, sleeping bags, and the sleeping bags are actually your spawn point. Oh, hello there. Hi, worship. Worship. Hello, don't kill me. My penis is, is dragging on the floor. Help me. Oh, rations. And a helmet. Thank you, young man. So what you're going to do is just drag this uh, helmet over into your inventory. And you put it on. It actually looks like a beanie. I don't know why it's an army helmet in the game, but it's a beanie. So you're going to go ahead and steer clear of that guy so he doesn't cut my balls off with his hatchet. And you're going to get this wood here. A lot of people attempt to go and bang their rock on the trees, but that just gives you one wood, so it's a waste of time to do that. And uh, you want to get this wood and rocks, because they're the basics of the game. That's how you start building your whole mansion and survive against the other players. Uh, it's really slow with this. But the first thing you want to make is, once you get once you get five stones and a bunch of wood, you're going to go over here and you're going to click stone hatchet and you're going to make that. So uh, let's find you some more stone. Go stone. Oh, there you are. It's time to go get stoned. Um, okay, there's a bunch of stuff around here, it seems like. Yeah, but once you uh, get your five stones, which I currently have now, you can uh, make a stone hatchet. And that makes you gather things a whole lot faster better than this caveman rock here. Don't even know where we are. Where is this island? Answer me that. So this game's still in alpha. So uh, it has a long way to go, but it's currently pretty good. So I'm going to go into my inventory by tab again and click stone hatchet and just craft one of them. So you have a timer here. Everything has a timer unless you go to a server that has uh, Instacraft on it it's going to take you quite a while to make things but you can just you, you walk much slower while you're crafting as well so just do whatever you want usually go mine stuff wait for that to pick, come up it's going to appear in your inventory appear it's going to appear in your inventory after it finishes you can just drag it down here and whatever you want to drop you just pick up and drop out of your inventory it's right there so I'm going to pick up my stone hatchet with E Reattach that, there we go. That's much faster. 
and it gets better stuff a bit quicker. Now in the bottom right hand corner I have health and food. Your food goes down I think it's two every one or two every couple of seconds and uh, when you start swinging that hatchet it goes down six or seven every swing. So um, Ahoy there sailor, can you do the other dance? Hello there. Same guy. Am I new? Of course I'm new. So, what you want to do is annoy people who... Oh, you're a nice man, aren't you? So, uh... You won't always meet friendly people like that. They'll try to kill you most of the time. But, uh, I'm gonna walk with this guy, see what goes on. Okay, so I've got some stones. Now, to f refill my food, I have to find an animal. There are pigs, deers, rabbits, chickens, bears, and wolves in this game. Bears and wolves are very scary. They uh, come in all shapes and sizes, and they did take out the zombies a while ago. So instead of zombies, we have red poisonous bears and wolves. Ooh, scary. But, uh, yeah, you go up to them, and I try to steer clear of them until I have a bow and arrow, which you can make with wood and cloth. Get that cloth from pigs, or really any animal, but pigs are the easiest because they can't run away. Oh, look, there's, some, oh, there's a pig over there. Piggy. So I'll get him to show you how this works. Oh, look at you. Who's a cute little piggy? Who's a cute little piggy? Oh, oh come here. Oh. oh, I want to, to kill you, little piggy. Come here. Ha ah. Why are you not running? There you go. Run away, little pig. Oh well, I guess you like, you want it to be sacrificed. Suicidal pig. Okay, so uh, to gather from these animals you have to destroy them with your hatchet or rock or whatever you have. It's quite gruesome but effective. See here I have four cloth and uh, five chicken breasts. That's in fact pig chicken. It's uh, the nutritionalist of chickens. Nutritionalist, new word of the day. There's a little rabbit. Hi, rabbit. But don't bother chasing these deer because you won't catch them. Ah. Now, if you hear that ticking uh, and you're naked, try, don't go into it usually. Um, that signals you're in a radiation area, which usually tends to spawn rare loot, which is guns, armor, whatever you want. And, uh,. Once you get to 500 rads down the bottom right hand corner, you start to take damage over time until you get below 500 rads. Uh, the enjoyment of beating wood with my little stone hatchet. So I'm going to find you another little piggy so I can get some more cloth and show you how to make a bow. And then I'll go to shelter and uh, I'll finish this episode off. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, there's a chicken. Chicken's just as good. They give good chicken, chicken cloth. There we go. Okay, so I have cloth now. So I'm gonna go down to your weapons and choose hunting bow and just craft that. Take another twenty seconds. This uh, this game tends to waste a lot of time. So uh, unless you do have time, I wouldn't really bother playing a normal server. You can go to a modded server and make things a lot faster. Okay, give me a few seconds. See, so now I have a bow. So you just put it down there and you choose the number you use, you have a bow. But to use a bow you must make arrows. Okay, so arrows cost four wood and one stone to make four arrows. So you can actually 
hold control and click the plus it makes the maximum you can so I can make I can make 15 if I wanted to or you could hold shift and it adds 10 to what you currently have and vice versa you could do the minus so um, just for game's sake I'm gonna go here and just make one set it takes 10 seconds and give me four arrows and I'll use these arrows to go and hunt the wolf the big bad wolf there we go so, so let's see what I have here's Mr. Wolf over here ooh there's there's multiple wolves it's a wolf extravaganza ooh so uh, I'm just gonna aim at this guy and fail miserably I thought I was gonna kill him but obviously not it usually takes two arrows to kill a wolf there you go, so you can kill him and uh, you can kill him and change there you go, and change to your hatchet and they'll give you a lot more ingredients and materials oh yes deterioration when you use weapons and bows and everything any item you use, it deteriorates over time every time you use it so it's it's kind of annoying, but I guess it had to be done. Um, I'll make. Actually, no, I'll show you what bandages are good for. So where is that wolf? Here, Mr. Wolf. Oh, come here. Oh, ouch! Can't make me bleed. Okay, now I'm bleeding. So you see down the bottom right hand corner that I'm bleeding. So if you use a bandage, it stops you from bleeding. But to get up to full health, what you do is you go ahead and create a campfire. Right there, another 20 seconds. And uh, this campfire can be used to cook your meat you have. It takes about, I think it's 30 seconds every every uh, two meat you put in. So. Uh, here we go, campfire. Let's drop that down. And uh, hold E on it. And you can open it up. And what you want to do is right click your meat and split it. Trying to try to split it into three equal portions. So they'll cook at the same time. It's the fastest way. A bit tedious. Oh, tedious pork, chicken, whatever you are. So you're going to go ahead and put that in there. Press E and let it cook. Orange. Um, beware not to eat the raw chicken because it will make you sick and you'll throw up until you die most of the time. Um, before we finish this episode, we're going to find a nice, safe, secluded place to put our shelter and uh, hopefully not get destroyed. We're going to have to make 200 uh, bits of metal to make an iron, a metal door so nobody can break into our place. So you can go to your inventory and you can just go here and you click wood shelter. It takes 50 wood take you 30 seconds but it's gonna take a while and uh... I'm still standing around naked well, my penis is dangling around and I'm wearing a beanie so I'm quite cold and shriveled my manlyhood is disappearing as I walk okay uh... eight seconds on that shelter seems like a nice secluded area so let's put our shelter down here, we're gonna use the number, and it's gonna go green. There we go. So sit in here somewhere. So once you're in here, I'm gonna need to make a furnace. I need ten low-grade fuel. Ooh. You know what? And you go find one more animal. Okay, so I now have my 20 animal fat. I'm in the process of making 10 low-grade fuel. 
that's that to make my furnace. My furnace, great. I need two more stones. Okay, so basically I am now back at my shelter. I have enough stones, I have enough wood. I can click build a furnace. It's gonna take me a whole 30 seconds. Now this furnace will basically take my metal ore and my sulfur ore and turn it into sulfur and metal fragments but at the same time getting charcoal which can be used basically just to make bullets uh, give me seven seconds on this furnace and we'll place it in here I try not to put a wood door up or any door up until I have a metal door because people will break into your place just because there's a door up they think you're hiding something but a metal door cannot be broken with a hatchet or pickaxe you have to blow it off with C4 okay so what you're gonna do is stick your wood in here any ore you have metal ore sulfur ore and turn it on so uh, you have cloth what you want to do is make a sleeping bag so when you do die not if when because you will die um, you will spawn back in here and you'll know that you're safe and you know where you are rather than spawning in a random location on the map and being scared shitless oh. so yeah sleeping bags take 30 seconds this game is a waiting game and takes a bit of patience okay so you get that sleeping bag you drag it on down and you just stick it in your corner. There you go. And you'll spawn back here, and your furnace is cooking your metal ore and everything at once. Mm. Okay, while my metal fragments are being cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and make a workbench. And a workbench substantially speeds up your crafting times, which will turn a 10 second arrow crafting into like a 3 second arrow craft so it's much faster go ahead and put it in the corner once it's made just grab it and place it right there there we go, look at it workbench now it says in the bottom right hand corner it says you are near a workbench you can only have one of these in each room but having more than one doesn't do anything it still just counts as one okay where am I at with these it's about 154 when you get to 200 you can go ahead and make a metal door Some more wood in there just in case. Say for instance, right now I can just go ahead and craft these arrows much faster. So I'm going to craft as many as I can. Five. It takes 20, 50, uh, 17 seconds to craft five rather than 50 seconds. So it is fast. So now I have my 200 metal fragments. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out. And keep that cooking. Get my workbench. I'm gonna go into crafting. I'm gonna go down here and click the metal door. And craft that to take 10 seconds. And that way nobody can just break this down and steal, steal my stuff and kill me. Because usually uh, when you log out of a server, you will drop on the spot and look like a naked guy. So people can just walk up to you and kill you while you're locked out of the server. You go ahead and take this door and place it in here. Wherever you can. There we go. If you hold E on it, you can actually change the lock combination on it. It's just, you know, like simple enough. Look at that. Open this up. So 
that draws a conclusion to the first episode of Let's Play Rust. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode.